This is a true horrifying story that took place in Somalia in the year 1998. Adel, a young man from Somalia, worked in a goat farming business in Mogadishu, the capital of Somalia. One day, Adel had orders in the city of Barbara. He had to drive there to buy sheep and goats. Barbara is a very long drive from the capital. During the road trip, he had to find a place to stay for the night. He found an abandoned house, very cheap to rent because it had no electricity. He paid the taker to spend the night there. He took off to buy some cigarettes and dinner for himself and he went back to this abandoned house. He had a candle with him for some light inside the house while having dinner. After dinner, Adil goes outside and starts his car. Late at night, he puts a cassette in the car, leaves the door open and plays music. Cassettes were used in most cars back in the 90s for music. Outside the car, he lights up a cigarette and vibes to the music in pitch darkness. Time goes by and suddenly the music stops out of nowhere. As he turns towards the car, the door of the car slams shut. He assumed it could have been the wind. He takes the cassette out, flips it and puts it back inside. Right before lighting his next cigarette, the music stops again. As he turns towards the car, the door slams shut. At this point, whatever happened caught Adil's attention. He takes his torch, walks around and starts reading his prayers. A few meters behind the house, he notices a woman covered from head to toe. He couldn't see clearly. The torch wasn't strong enough, but as he got closer, this being expands. It got bigger after every step he took. He runs towards the car. He tries to start the car, but the car won't start. He knew that this house is haunted. These were jinns. He is now stuck inside his car. He looks at the rear view mirror and he sees the same dark figure behind him. Adil is in a very bad situation. For five minutes straight, this figure did not move a muscle. A minute felt like an hour. His throat started drying out from fear and there was nothing he can do. He stayed in his car, begging and praying to God till the sun came up. Hours go by. He opens his eyes, starts his car and drives back to Mogadishu, leaving everything behind.